How's it going, friends? Today I'm bringing you this wine cooler we have here, and this wine cooler is having a problem. It doesn't control the temperature at all. So yeah, we're going to have to adapt it so that it can be controlled uh, a, by a thermostat. Here on the display, everything is responding, everything works, the buttons too. However, it no longer controls the temperature, and here in the country, well, there are no spare parts for this brand. Okay? So we're going to adapt a universal refrigerator a thermostat, and with that, we'll get it working in a conventional way. Here's the thermostat, okay? It's just a standard thermostat. Here are the thermostat specifications, as you can see, okay? So this will be at the back, but first we also need to defrost all of this and unplug it from the power source before proceeding with the um, installation work. Then at the compressor, we're going to disconnect from the cable that comes from the control board. So for that, we're going to remove that cover or lid that's right next to the compressor, AIM, okay? So we can remove the cables that come directly from the control board, the ones that power the relay uh, and the thermal protector, okay? Now, uh, who's going to power that? We're going to take the direct power supply from the same wine cooler's cable, okay? But only one of those lines will go through the thermostat, so it can control the temperature. So we're going to make a cut like this in the cable. And here we're only going to use the white and black wires, okay? Because the green one is ground. So this is how it should look. Here we have the first wire that goes directly to the thermal protector. And this wire, well, here we connect it directly to the white wire, okay? I already have it ready here, taped up, but it's on the white wire, just like you're seeing, okay? But the other wire, the one that comes uh, uh, um, from so, the relay, it, uh, this wire does need to go directly through the thermostat, okay? Which is the one that will be reading the temperature and will cut the power like a switch. That's all there is to it, nothing complicated. So here this one will go to the black wire directly, just like the thermal was on the white one. Now we're going to run it through the drain pipe, uh, the little tube that's right here, all the way at the back. We're going to insert it through there, so it ends up mm, like this. This is what's going to sense the eh, temperature, okay? So now everything would be set up like this, all installed. All that's left for us to do. Remember, these wires are no longer needed, so you have to tape them up just as they are and just leave them somewhere. Make sure they're neatly arranged, okay? So now with everything like this, the only thing left is to set the thermostat on my, um, to a temperature like we have it here at point three. Here you can see the hose that's properly draining the water from the defrosting we did in, inside the compartment, okay? That will evaporate, there's no problem with that. So we plug it back in now to leave it running and we're going to leave it set at number three. If the person wants it a bit colder, uh, they can adjust it. Here, the client asked me to leave it basically as a refrigerator because they don't just store wine in it, okay? But also other things. So, well, friends, that's all for today. And we'll be back with more soon.